I know, right? It's daylight. Isn't that amazing? Casual oddish. <laughs> Three. Thanks for the bits. <clears throat> yep. I'm here! I'm alive! It's actually the middle of the day here. It's what? It's... Yeah, 3.15 in the afternoon on a Sunday. Okay, so my, uh, my wife went to meet one of her old work friends um, at a park and she took the kids, so I don't know when they're coming home. This is my chance to actually dig into the last couple platformers that we have for the month. And I figure, why why should I do that by myself? So, hey Dev, hey Cornudo, hey Three. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm back on Always Awakening, because honestly, I really liked it when we played it on Wednesday, and this was the main one that I wanted to get back to. I don't know if I can, okay, I can't make it up there. <clears throat> right now, I'm just trying to figure out where I can actually get to. So last time, we got the spell that lets me make these little blocks. Turns out I can't stick them in the water but I can use them to get other places, like the Shrine of the Sea Monk, which is where the second boss of the game is. Um, okay, so on this map here, I just, let's see, we left off here in, what was this place called? I forget, like Central, Central Alwa? That was weird. Um, I went down here, which is like the underground chamber, whatever the hell that is. Uh, but I couldn't really get anywhere, and there's some really tough platforming down there. The little thing um, with the four stars is apparently the gate to the final boss. So we'll be doing that eventually. Apparently there's a boss right here, and a save point right here, so. <clears throat> Played a bit of this, and it's definitely fun. One of those games I meant to get back to, but just got, yeah. This is, it's it's scratching a very particular itch for me, for like a, like, NES-style Metroidvania adventure. I'm pretty excited about. Um, oh, interesting, Dev. <coughs> Why did you play Super Mario World in the Super Mario RPG? I always start with that. I don't have any um, splash screens or overlays set up for, uh, for my Elgato capture. So instead of just sitting here in silence until people show up, I just play Super Mario World until I, until most of the audience trickles in, and then I switch over. So that's a beautiful looking copper coin. Can I have it? Sure. You're such a kind person. Now let me take a look at this. Grumble, grumble. This is not what I was looking for. You can keep it. Since you're so kind, I can open this door for you. Inside, you'll find a really useful item. 99% of games, if somebody's like, hey, give me that shit, you can just do it without having to worry they're going to rip you off. Which makes it really interesting when you do run into a game where they're just like, haha, idiot. <laughs> I found an empty flask. It's coming in handy later. You fill with some water. But where am I gonna find water? <laughs> Thanks for being so kind. Okay. Hey! Captain Swing! It's you! Okay, so <laughs> I'm using like I'm using a modern Elgato for uh, retro console capture. But actually, hang on a sec. So, I have an Elgato internal card. That's HDMI in only. So I have a converter here, if you can see that. Uh, that's, it's RCA to HDMI that I use for all my retro consoles. It's kind of an awkward way to do it, but it's also really easy. <laughs> if, there's, if there's a better looking way to do it, I might... Oh, this is interesting. I might see if I can find that eventually. Spooky. <clears throat> hey, Harmby! <clears throat> I'm, glad, I'm glad all y'all were around. I wasn't sure if you guys had lives or anything on, on Sundays, because I don't! <laughs> normally, normally I'm, I'm watching my kids while... Uh, I'm either watching my kids while my wife cleans, or I'm cleaning while my wife watches the kids. I don't get a whole lot of gaming time on the weekends. I I might actually get less on the weekends than I do during weekdays. But yeah, today is a special. <laughs> Better looking ways are just console mods, yeah. I think a lot of people that, that stream retro games just use emulation, because it'll be at the natural resolution 
for your monitor, so. I like the authentic experience. Kind of weird like that. Although if we do end up streaming anything that's on the Nintendo Online service, I can just stream it off the Switch and it'll be at a really nice crisp resolution instead of the weird RCA mess of the original Nintendo. I'm really looking forward to them adding Super Nintendo games. Do you have an N64? I used to. Um, I got one when it came out. Oh, ooh, secret passes. I got one when it came out. I had I had Mario 64, Shadows of the Empire, Goldeneye. I think I just had those. I'm kind of nuts with the spikes here. These are nice traditional uh, Mega Man 2 spikes, by the way. That I just skewered my head on. <laughs> I've died eight times, by the way. I died about four times before I started up the stream. <clears throat> but yeah, I only had like three games for the N64 and then I ended up selling it. No, I didn't sell it. I gave it to a friend. I think I figured out why you don't like the N64 as much as a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I seriously didn't have any games for it. And I know, I know I missed out on a lot of games. If nothing else, I want to play the Zelda games that were on it. I have an Atari. No, Atari was actually, wow, like I just gave away the game on that secret wall. Uh, Atari was actually a little before my time. Slightly. <laughs> I'm as old as the original Nintendo. Both of us were born in 1983. <clears throat> and I ended up getting a Nintendo when I was... I must have been like four or five, I guess. And then, then it was all over. <laughs> it was just video games for all eternity for me. I'm trying to remember if I've ever played any Atari games. I don't think I have. Oh, you have the 2600? Awesome! That's pretty neat. What games on it do you like? Do you have any suggestions if I ever pick up a 2600? There's a section in the underground chamber with those bubbles and a really low spike ceiling that's kind of neat to navigate. I heard there's a flask you can know, replenish your energy if you drink from it. I even heard it somewhere. I think I already got it. <laughs> I think that was the one the dude gave me. It was a Mario on the 2600? Three, three, don't. No. <laughs> there, there are children watching. <laughs> what are you doing? Played one where you shoot through a wall at each other. Roadrunner, there's a Roadrunner game? On the Atari? I played I played the the Roadrunner game on Super Nintendo and I, I like that a lot. Death Valley Rally. It's weird. All of those like Warner Brothers platformers have really weird feels to them. Um Roadrunner's Death Valley Rally and Duck Dodgers and There's a Bugs Bunny one too. Where you're fighting against some mysterious animator. They all have this, yeah, this kind of bizarre, like, otherworldly feel to them. Custer's Revenge is a classic. What are you guys even doing? <laughs> oh, you dropped a video in chat. Nice. Check it out later. <clears throat> so it's kind of funny, since we're in the red area right now, we started right next to the boss, but because... Because of the way that room is shaped, we can't- we couldn't actually get to him, and we have to take this long, circuitous route. Uh, I can get that key. I can definitely get that key. First try! I can get out of here. There we go. I've really been enjoying the platforming this. The controls are really tight, and you have a pretty... Pretty high, pretty floaty jump. So it's been fun navigating some of the trickier rooms. <clears throat> Atari feels like they're trying to make games before they actually have the technology to do so. Pitfall's a, cl a classic, but not because it's good. Adventure game was really fun. It was your first game, so holy crap, there's five when I last played them. Yeah, I'm discovering now that I've dug out all my retro games, there's a bunch of games that I just haven't even bothered with. I haven't even 
revisited since I was a child. Makes him kind of awkward to play. Not a bad description of how I remember the Atari film. Hi, Darren! Welcome to the stream. Oh crap, I don't think I wanted to do that. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Fortunately, they have regenerating stone block technology in whatever place this is. The Shrine of the Sea Monk. So this is the one power I have right now, the power to make little green blocks. Which is really helpful when navigating spikes like that. Atari 5200 or 7800. I don't even know the difference between all the Ataris. My first gaming system was a Commodore 64. My parents had, um, my dad. My dad was really interested in the early days of computing. So he got a Commodore 64 before I was born. So the first games I remember are stuff like, um, like Sesame Street edutainment titles, and Moon Patrol, and Centipede, and a really interesting game called Airborne Ranger. Oh, get on there, get on there, get on there! And a really, really interesting game, uh, like a flight sim, a sci-fi flight sim called Echelon that I really wish somebody would bring back in, in some way, shape, or form. Echelon is really fascinating, because it's like... It's, on the it's set on the theoretical 10th planet of the solar system, where there are ruins from a supposed alien race, and... Um, so there's like a mining colony or something set up there. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, but there's also pirates. And this, uh, this space freighter goes missing in your sector. And so you're this, like, patrol craft. Um, did I get a key? I guess I did get a key. And you have to figure out where the pirate base is so you can investigate it and see if, if you can actually find the, the lost freighter. So you have to fly around all by yourself and beam up artifacts and analyze them and look for clues to, like, the pirate's code language. Enemies are optional in the game. You can you can choose to dogfight against uh, against pirate ships if you want, but it's mostly just this really solitary, like weird exploration game where you're flying around in the spaceship. It's really technical flying too. Like you can hover, you can go back and forth, you can do all kinds of stuff. Are there two children having a fight about which term is better in chat right now? <laughs> Airborne Ranger was one of Microposes' first games. It, that is, it's such a neat game. It's a, it's like an isometric action game with like, like randomized levels and stealth and like resource management. It's really cool. Is it somewhat like Star Fox? It's like Star Fox if, 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 if Star Fox wasn't just down a straight corridor. If you could just fly all over like this open map. It was pretty neat. But you had you had to like like fly down inside. Oh, and you had a you had a, a probe. You could launch a probe. Like you could you could park your ship up like up in orbit, and you could drop a probe down to go down and explore ruins in and stuff. It's really cool. Bit of proto Metal Gear to Airborne Ranger. Yeah, I totally agree, Three. Anyway, I got a blue gemstone, so like you feel like you can almost float. I can create gemstone bubbles. Switch magic and hold up and attack to create a bubble. Jump on top of it, float upward. How do I switch? Oh, there we go. Okay, I can make floaty bubbles now. That's cool. Hey, Obsol, glad you can make it. Have you heard of Sally Face? Yes. Um, I've watched, I watched uh, John Wolf on YouTube play most of the Sally Face episodes. I think I watched him play like three out of four of them. It does look like a really cool game. It also seems like it has kind of a wild fan base, and I'm not I'm not sure if it really rates that, but I haven't played it myself. So, Metal Gear One is pretty cool if you can get through it. Metal Gear One is cool. It has some really weird parts in it, though. The whole <laughs> the whole sniper scene 
where you have to rescue Meryl? I, like, I don't... <laughs> it's such a weird thing to have in, like, any game. Like, I... That's one of the earliest game things I actually had to look up how to do. Because I thought, I, I thought for sure, like, no way were they going to make me, like, go back and do this, and yeah, they were. That's like, exactly what they wanted me to do. How do I do this? I don't think I can do that. Metal Gear has some really weird parts in fact. I know, that's like the most banal observation I can make about the Metal Gear Solid series. Because, yeah, I played, the, I played the first one, and I liked the first one, so then I got the second one on PS2, and I liked that... I like that until it broke the weird barrier. <laughs> do I... Shit, I don't have a key. I think I actually do need to go back and get that key. Oh, oh, oh. I can make green blocks and blue blocks at the same time. Well, that changes everything. There we go, now I got that damn key. Oh! Oh, Christ. Oh, no. Oh, you have one of those... 100 game NES cartridges? <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I had one of those for, uh... I had a, like, a thousand game... PC CD-ROM... When I was a kid. And that was about... 998 garbage titles. And, like... Occasionally one that was kinda neat. Don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> I called it. Don't kill me. Do I, do I need to do that? Yeah, I do. Alright, I need two blocks for that. Oh, you have Sweet Home on that cartridge? I have always wanted to play Sweet Home. I, um... I read... I read a screenshot LP of Sweet Home. And was just utterly fascinated by it. Revengeance is supposed to be really good. There's a remake of Hero Quest on Steam? It's not good. There we go. Just get that block out. Hey, it's not NES Game Man. Hey, Hieronymus. Yeah. Of, of all the games we played on Wednesday, this is the one I kind of wanted to get back to the most. I mean, I'm sure y'all saw I, I posted my Slain review today. I, I enjoyed that. I went back to it late last night after, um... I'm not sure which way to go here. I went, I went back to it late last night after, uh, after finishing Mario RPG. And I was having fun with it. It's tough. Like, I don't, I don't think that's going to come as a surprise to anybody, but... It, it never gets any less metal. The, uh, the Wolfwood section is actually really fun. Like, really, really fun. <clears throat> I can get past this guy without dying. I didn't. <laughs> I hope I can do this without... Oh, well. <clears throat> okay, I'm not actually that far back. Drop the Amiga version of Hero Quest music because it's really good. Okay, I'll check that out later. Yeah, if uh, if any of you are not in our Discord, we have a music channel now where people post links to game music or whatever other music they have on their mind, and it's actually really fun. There's a lot of cool stuff that gets dropped in there. The unicorn of the world. Yep, I've got Revengeance, and I'm. No, oh, I don't want to do that. I cannot believe I did not get a hit there. What a miracle that was. Yep, okay. Yeah, okay. Did it. Um, I'm gonna try going down from here this time. I want to find another save point, ideally. This might be a really bad idea, but I'm gonna try it. 
This is probably a really bad idea. Oh, well, at least I didn't go on the right. <laughs> that would have super sucked. Also, that was pointless, because I can't... Wait, 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 wait. No, I do want to go down the right. I bet that's a... I bet that's a secret door. All right. All right, so we'll go down the middle. Uh-oh. Do we have... Do we have mad, bad Metal Gear opinions? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are welcome to whatever Metal Gear opinions you have. I'm not actually a very big fan of the series. For the longest time, I like I honestly thought Hideo Kojima was pretty overrated. Even even when I was working at Konami, I just didn't tell anybody that. Oh, I can't. Oh no, you just step on that one. I appreciate him a lot more now that I've tried um, Ground Zeroes. Say what you, say what you will about the like you don't have to like Ground Zeroes, but you kind of have to admit it's pretty amazing accomplishment from a technical standpoint. My understanding is Phantom Pain is even more so. That's true. Um, somehow Metal Gear Solid Two did pre did predict. The current hell world we are currently stuck in. There we go. Alright, um... I need a save point, though. I'm not a very big fan of Metal Gear Pitchforks come out. Well, we're not here playing Metal Gear, are we? Oh, goddammit. I think that was Karma. So, somewhere in the world, Hideo Kojima just got this shiver and he was like, No. No, this cannot stand. <laughs> Ground Zeroes and Five were the best mechanically, but they lacked on the story front. <clears throat> it's funny, I, I really like stealth games, but I was having trouble getting into Ground Zeroes. I think because it's a very different style of stealth than I'm used to. Like, the, the two big stealth games for me are the Thief series and the newest Hitman games. And Metal Gear is kind of a departure from both of those. Because it's not really a full stealth game either. I am super curious. I'm super curious what Death Stranding is even going to be. And I hope I'm not the only one. I mean, it looks like it could be super cool, but then again, it looks like it could be literally anything. To Metal Gear Stealth is Trank pistoling everyone in the head. <laughs> messing up and blowing things up. I'm good at the messing things up part. I guess you got a point there. You are effectively in stealth if no one is awake to see you. Uh, I think I messed that up. I need you to not be there. I like Metal Gear Solid because... That's true. I guess I got, I got used to, in the Thief games, unmanageable mess-ups. I love the Thief games, but I will fully admit I abused uh, quick saves in them pretty badly when I played them as a kid. I'd like... Someday I'm going to go back and play them all, and play them without quick saves, and see how far that'll get me. I'm not sure it'll really get me that far at all, but I want to give it a try. Same thing with XCOM Apocalypse. I was terrible about uh, save scumming in XCOM Apocalypse. Which made it easier than it already was, because I, I feel like for an XCOM game it's actually pretty easy. Is this, please be a secret. Yes, thank you. Um, just in case. Okay. This is angry blue face in the wall that's not doing anything. Shoot people in the ass in Peace Walker, they fall down right away. <laughs> Older I get, the less I enjoy binary stealth games except for Invisible Ink. Yes. I mentioned it before, Invisible Ink is my favorite game of all time. Hands down, not even kidding. If, if you posed the Desert Island question to me, and I could have one game, it would be Invisible Ink. Every time someone says brilliantly, I assume they're from the UK. Well, you know what happens when you assume. <laughs> you 
Yeah, stealth games where you like permanently screw up are not are not ideal. It's not the ideal way to handle that. Why do you suppose these platforms are here? I feel like there's a reason for this. I guess there isn't. Desert Island game Invisible Ink doesn't exist. Um... Uh, um... Maybe Darkest Dungeon. Maybe Darkest Dungeon. Why did I just make that big-ass loop? Three. Three, you're ruining the moment here. Just cut it out with your facts and logic. They have no place in this stream. Okay, I can definitely get past this guy now. So I can just eat a hit if I have to. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. Yes, it's a magic... Il it's, it's Gilligan's Island, okay? You have... You have all the facets of modern life, except for some reason, the professor can't get you off the fucking island. Mm -hmm. Can I bring food and water? You have food and water. You have all the coconuts you can eat. It's like a coconut buffet. I don't want to be done with video games. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this boss is. The first one wasn't too bad. I think it took me, like, what, two tries? I've heard about you and what you've done. You're growing stronger and stronger. Why are you trying to kill us? You must be punished for your day. Oh, why? Just... Oh. Okay. Oh, he's dancing! That's cute. Why don't I just leave? <laughs> Oh, ow, okay. Oh, 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 I need to use this to get over him. Okay. Okay, that's what's going on here. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Nope. No. Wait, I can... Wow, okay. I don't think they quite ba balance these bosses out, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I should have been able to do that. <laughs> Cause I did not have to I did not have to engage with that dude's gimmick at all. You saying the channel the guy told us to full in. Well me personally, I don't think there's really any point in trying to hide who I am. I mean, it's not like anybody cares right now and if they do care, that means I've made it big enough that I wouldn't be able to hide it anyway, so. It would be nice if I had some range on my attack, but at the same time, the game does seem to be designed so I don't need it, which I appreciate. See that one coming! <laughs> Captain Swing, I knew you were here for a reason. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let us down. Alright, so I think I'm about... I think I'm halfway to victory here. I think there are four... No! You dick. I think there's four bosses I need to beat, and we've taken down two of them already. So we're gonna head in a this way or lead direction. <laughs> you got him. Guy. Look at this angry, pudgy thing. Are you an adventurer just like me? I saved the world so many times, I'm almost a little tired now. Nowadays, I mostly spend my time fishing and talking to the people that, for some weird reason, keeps on coming into my house. 
I have this blue orb, which I heard could be really good to have when fighting the protectors. Have you ever found any? I keep my orb safe, very high up, so no one can reach it and steal it. If someone were to take it, I would be really sad. Bloop! guys totally can come back later and murder us. <laughs> we just triggered like an optional boss, which is now no longer optional. <clears throat> Wait, does Audit only start hitting buns when the sun goes down? Probably. Uh, I don't think we're going this way. I know, the room looks really different when it's actually lit with sunlight. <laughs> that is what daylight look, look, looks like. I know, it's weird. It's super weird. I hope it's not awkward for any of you. God, this guy. Well, he gave me my heart back, so. <laughs> thank, thank you, not a roguelike. That means a lot to me. I wonder what the smart way to do that is. Like, the way to do that without getting hit. Because I'm never going to figure it out. Alright, so we did that. Let's go back to the big gate. Oh, so now you guys will get to see the big uh, endgame gate that I wandered past earlier. So here it is. This is where we go when we're ready to beat the game, apparently. Which we might do on stream, depending on how much time I have. <clears throat> Entrance to the last challenge of your journey. In order to open this, you need the power of protectors. Do you want me to tell you about the four protectors? Okay, so we beat the Vicious Keeper. He was the one in the Amber Sancellum. Sancellum? Cellar? Sanctum? Whatever the hell it is. We just beat the Sea Monk. Crimson Guardian, I guess, is next. Crimson Guardian can found, be found on top of the Void Tower. You'll find the entrance just outside the town of Westwood. And the Beholder... Um, you'll need to see what others cannot see and make it all the way up the Amethyst Passage. This gives you Castlevania 2 vibes? Me too! That might be why I like it so much. I like Castlevania 2 quite a bit. Old and before the days of internet anonymity. <coughs> I mean... The fact is, in general, nobody really cares who you are on the internet. Nobody cares if you use a handle or your full name or whatever. So many people do it now, it's just... Like, it, it really doesn't matter, you know? And then if you have any kind of, like, public presence or following, like, your details are gonna get out anyway, so... Alright, um... I'm gonna go back down to the underground chamber and see if I can get somewhere in there. And then if I can't, we'll go, we'll go back to town and we'll see if we can get in the void tower. Okay. Cause I remember pretty much everything dead ended here. I couldn't get anywhere. Okay, now I can get up there. Also, I really like the enemies down here, the queue. <laughs> Someone unfortunately gets mad about something tangentially related to you and suddenly it matters a lot. Well, we'll see. I mean, we're, we're way past the point where I can do anything about it now. So. Let's roll them dice. I mean, as soon as IPAC finds out about me, I'm screwed anyway. Like, my life will be essentially over. These doors. I don't know how to get into these doors yet. to the shrine. Oh, we're up here. That's not what I wanted to do. Did I check down here already? 
Yeah, that's the door. I knew that. I knew that! <laughs> Obviously I knew that. I wonder if you ever... I guess you probably don't get any more life. I guess it's always gonna be three hits and dead. Which is pretty rough. It'd be nice if there was some kind of, like, optional shield item that lets you absorb another hit or something. <clears throat> I think I'd be asking a lot. By the way, I've found 18 of those blue orbs so far. There's 99 in the game. So if you have any concerns whatsoever that there's not enough exploration to do in this one... Alright, there's no way I'm getting to that book, whatever that is. I really like the music track for the Underground Chamber, too. This game has pretty good music in general. Okay, so this room's pretty cool. I had fun figuring this out before I started the stream. Okay, hopefully there's something to find over here this time with my newfound power. Because otherwise, I'm gonna have to go back and do that again, like a fourth time. I think I can get that now. Okay, so this... All right, this connects to the left anyway. Nope, these doors are sealed. Okay, that was pointless. <laughs> On the other hand, we're kind of going in the right direction for the Void Tower, so... I don't like the push for D and... Anim, and how do you say that? How do you pronounce that? De-anonymizing the internet? Because it's entirely corporate push and gathering to sell more data, yeah. Uh, where is... I think the Void Tower is right outside of town. Like, to the west of town, maybe? We'll take a shortcut through here, it's pretty easy. Actually, I could go down into... nah. I think we'll make a push, a push for the bosses first, because I'll get, I'll get the rest of my magic powers first. <clears throat> and then it'll be easier for me to go back and find... Uh, find side stuff. Yeah, I certainly don't blame anybody who tries to maintain their anonymity on the internet, because, I mean, it's full of assholes. <laughs> Facebook has kind of shown the de-anonymization. to get the most likes combined the two. <laughs> All right, back to Forsaken Valley. Maybe we'll get some new places here. It's you before some idiot exposed your real name. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I just have kind of a fatalistic view of it. Like it's gonna happen anyway, regardless. So I don't know if that's good or bad. I got a smartphone. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I'm curious. Technically, I can go off the left there, but I don't know if that would drop me on a bunch of spikes or what. Yeah, it looks 
feel like it would have ended with me in a pit. I guess we can go down and around? Yeah, we can. Ooh. Ooh, that looks cool. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Oh, it's just a bunch of those. Hmm. Okay. How long are you playing the stream? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Um... I'm streaming now because my wife took the kids to meet one of her friends at a park. I have no idea how long they're going to be there. Um, sometimes my wife comes back in just like two or three hours uh, to like come home and make dinner or get the kids ready for school the next day. Sometimes if she's having a really good time, she doesn't come back until like way after dark. So we're kind of just here until we can't be here anymore. I mean, I would just, I would just be playing this on my own anyway, because I wanna, I wanna do Always Awakening for as tomorrow's review, and then I also need to get started on some other stuff. Uh, if we have time today, I'm gonna get into either un, un, that super Dark Soulsy two, two D game I played early on. Un, is it Unforgiven? Unavowed? Un, un something. It's the black and white 2D Dark Souls thing. I'll play that, and I'll play more Pinstripe. This is so... Castlevania 2. This is so that part where you have to get the whistle and go to the end of the world and then crouch for like five whole seconds to see if the whirlwind take you away. Facebook has shown how dumb people really are because people thought that they'd say a lot, ra lot less racist and homophobic things if their name was attached to it. Yeah. Unbuttoned. Unworthy misation. Unjammer laugh. <laughs> you guys are so fucking helpful. I appreciate you. I heard a post something I said in the Discord. I started being much more active on Twitter a few weeks ago. At first it was fun, but now I think you should delete it before I die from rage. Yeah, if you get the attention of the wrong people on Twitter, it's just, it's agony. It is straight agony. I have, I have yet to see how I handle it. Because so far my Twitter has basically just been like, pixel art and developers and other streamers. But you know me, I can't shut up about politics. <laughs> So I'm sure as soon as the wrong people take notice of that, like, my Twitter feed is just going to become hell. Unhelpful, that was it, yes. Thank you. Undertale. That's right, you guys wanted me to stream Undertale sometime, didn't you? Since I've never actually played it. Oh, I can save here. Good. Good, let's do that. So where the hell are we? I think this is Eating salad with a cup. <laughs> what the hell are you on about? <laughs> but Dev, I don't know if it's my kind of game. I get the feeling it is. Because I, I like really, really cute, kitschy, unique RPGs. Everything I've seen about it suggests to me that I would like it a lot. Uh, I don't think we're going this way either, are we? Well, damn, this is kind of a fruitless journey, wasn't it? <clears throat> I will say, if you do not engage with politics at all on Twitter, it's a really good way to keep up with um, artists and creators you like. You can just follow a bunch of really cool, like, creator accounts and just be happy. <laughs> be oblivious and happy. Unfruitful. How many unwords are there in the English language anyway? Finding a lot of backtracking, you're getting lost, what to do next? I don't I don't 
feel lost. I just kind of feel like some of this exploration I'm doing is kind of pointless at this point. Because one thing this game does that I'm not thrilled about is it really doesn't tell you anything about where you should be going with your current powers. Like, I know I'm supposed to be going to the Void Tower. I don't really know where that is. And if I want to do any kind of exploring whatsoever, like, it's not, it's not helping me figure out where I should be looking at all. Unfew, uncountable, unknown, perhaps unknowable, unfinite, uncool. <laughs> Underneath. <laughs> you guys are so damn helpful. That's why you gave up on the game? Yeah, oh, you start repeating stuff. Yeah, I was I was doing that a little bit before the stream too. Like when I when I ended up in the underground chamber, there's basically no reason for me to be there. It didn't do anything for me. Uh, I didn't make it. I think I know where I want to go, though. So we'll try going there. If we get too hung up on this one, we'll switch over to, uh... Unfinite, or whatever the hell it is. I feel bad I can't remember the name of that game, but then again, it's not exactly... Wait, is this it? Is this the Void Tower? I'm gonna laugh if this is the Void Tower. It's fine. Everything's good. We're cool. I love this game. Whoa! That's what those blue faces do. They pop your bubbles. A bunch of jerks. Sonic 3 and Unworthy. <laughs> so, I'm liking this game. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I fully intend to finish it. It does feel like the kind of indie game that if you just look away for it, from it for even a moment, you're gonna forget about it. Like, there's nothing super, like, super interesting that stands out about it. All the powers are pretty standard. Like, there's nothing special about the combat. The exploration can get, can get pretty repetitive. It's good for what it is, but it doesn't stand out in a very crowded genre, so I don't blame any of you for checking out of it and never checking back in all the blue herbs you can find, the more you have, the more damage you deal to protectors. Maybe that's why the sea dude was so easy. Sonic Adventure 2 is a poor escape. What? <laughs> what? Oh, this looks like a fun puzzle room. So I need to stack up three blocks on... Hmm. I think I see how to do this. We'll find out. Dead Cells Hollow Knight is just a tad better than this one. I mean, that's that's the thing. I feel so bad for, for indie Metroidvanias, honestly. Because at this point, it's like... Somebody's like, okay, what's a good, what's a good indie Metroidvania? And it's like, okay, have you played Hollow Knight? And if they haven't, you start with Hollow Knight. And then it's like, okay, what's next? Have you played Dead Cells? Or have you played... I don't know. I mean, there's so much stuff out there like The Messenger and Shovel Knight. And if you go back a ways, then you get into stuff like Mark and the Ninja. And it's just, it's such a crowded genre. And it makes me feel really bad for indies. And I think I might have screwed this up. Because I think I need to go around to the other side and put a block there. I haven't played Dendar and I really want to. I think that's what I wanted to do. And then I bubble my way back up. Aquaria. I like Rogue Legacy. Re <laughs> I like Rogue Legacy too. I, f I feel like it was very much subsumed by um, either Dead Cells, if you like, if you like the the roguelike platforming, or Immortal Redneck, if you like the upgrade system. Alright, I think that's what I want to do. And then... And then... I might... I'm, I might be overthinking this one, but... 
Yeah, not a roguelike fucking loves Rogue Legacy. He's also really good at it, against all odds. Hollow Knight into Rain World is pro move. <laughs> hey, North. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I think... Okay. Alright, I just wanted to push this one all the way under. That's what I wanted to do. So not to go all the way back around again. Because I'm a genius and very good at puzzles. Pop that out of there. <clears throat> Alright, and we shove all of these over here. So we can get a little key. Oh, Cragger, you beat... Wow, you beat New Game Plus on Rogue Legacy 2. <laughs> Rogue Legacy, I tried for the heart, for the longest time to beat that one, and I got stuck on, like, the third boss or something? Second or third boss, maybe. And then when I sat down to review it for, um, for Rogue Mist that year, by some miracle... Like, something just clicked in my brain. Like, I finally understood how to play that game, and I ended up beating it. I tried the, I tried like the extra hidden bosses though, and they just like beat me utterly to death. Enemies in this are super unchallenging. Just like fantastically unchallenging. Jump. What's this? What's this? Do something. You look like a thing. Do something. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> How much is this? How much is? I don't know. Somebody look up how much Alba's Awakening is, if you don't mind. I don't think it's... Okay, so that's gonna be something that I have to do. Okay, so I think it just destroys my blocks. I think I can... Yep, okay. Ten dollars, okay. Seems like you'd get maybe... Hmm. I feel like you get you get maybe three hours out of this if you just blast straight through it. Maybe four to five if you go for full completion. Don't pop my bubble. Apparently can't pop my bubble. Uh, can I get back around there? I think I can. I do, I do like the way your powers interact. Like, I do like making my way around these rooms using this combination of powers. I'm really looking forward to getting the third one, whatever it is. I mean, it's, yeah, it's all been done before. But that doesn't, that doesn't make it any less fun here. 1450 Australian? Yikes. <laughs> Yes, Odalis! That's the one that was escaping me earlier. O I love Odalis. I, personally, I put Odalis up there with Shovel Knight. I think they're pretty close in quality. <laughs> what is this? This doesn't look that hard and I just saved. Did I just lose you guys? Or did I just lose myself? We're so okay, yeah, we're still here. Okay. I need to keep OBS open. Or on my screen, so I can see what exactly is going on. Okay. Okay, here we go. Do the patience for backtracking anymore? I don't blame you. I the older I get, like the more the less patience I have for games wasting my time in any way. Oh look, it's a heart. That's cute. It's also probably gonna kill me. Okay. Not that bad. You can see just- okay, so it must have just been mine. I have- I have my stream open here, just to make sure it's actually displaying stuff in a reasonable way for you guys. Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay, we're not going that way. 
I just more and more buy games and either never beat them or play them just because they won't, no longer interest me. It's a heart made out of spikes. Maybe the games I like are ones that have exploration with those always an easily obtainable carrot dangling in front of you to keep you going for just a bit more. I agree, not a red light. I like having games with challenge in them, and I like having games with a lot of stuff to find, but at the same time, I like to just sit down with a game and make progress. Something like... Honestly, open world games, like the Far Cry games, or Sleeping Dogs, or the new Tomb Raiders, I love those games. Because there's nothing, honestly, because there's nothing particularly challenging about any of it. I can just, I can sit down and I know I'm going to make progress towards something. Alright, that's obviously not the way I'm going. Backtracking does suck. There's not a lot of justification for it anymore, either. Especially if you look at a game like, like Monolith, or Enter the Gungeon, where you can pretty freely teleport to any room you've already been. You've already been to. Um, I really find a save room. But I really don't want to go that way, either, because it looks like I'm murdered. Maybe this isn't that bad? Oh, it's, it's that bad. <laughs> oh god, where was the save point? <laughs> okay, we'll go up a different way this time. I blame you people for talking about root legacies. Oh, I can't go this way anyway. Alright, well, we have to go that way. Okay. I really enjoy exploring spaces more than finding power-ups. The big open-world game push has been an odd one, yeah. Okay. Whoop. Get on it! Okay. Rogue Legacy is not a roguelike. <laughs> Yeah, Hollow Knight was really good about exploration. Part of that, though, like, the world of Hollow Knight is just so much fun to be in. Like, it's so much fun to just see new places in that, that I think that, I think that kind of helped cut down a bit on whatever negative feelings of backtracking there might have been. Okay, fuck this room, I don't want to go this way. <laughs> Open world game design is terrible. It's either an empty world or just Sam Fetch quest copy-paste a hundred times. That's why I like Sleeping Dogs so much. I feel like Sleeping Dogs design was tight enough that you never really felt like that. Like every part, oh shit. <laughs> That's not good. Like every part of the Sleeping Dogs world felt like it had a purpose and it generally did. There was like a, a lockbox or a shrine or something to find everywhere. Yeah, my my favorite open world game is a is probably a toss up between Sleeping Dogs and the first uh, Red Dead Redemption. I haven't played the second one, obviously. I don't have a PlayStation Four. <clears throat> I guess we're going up this way. You play the new game by the Rogue Legacy people's four player brawler. North. Which one is that? I feel like I know what you're talking about. I might have played it? <laughs> Alright, shit. I need that key. Also, this one looks whole. I can't do anything with it. It just looks... Full Metal Furies. Yeah, I haven't played that one yet, but I've been looking at it. Alright, so we do need to be down here, we do need to get that cube. Well, that sucks, because I don't want to do this. Okay, okay, so if I hit jump, I just fall off. So I can't jump off the ladder. I need to do that. Okay, that's not actually that bad. You actually get a pretty good amount of lateral momentum when you jump off these things. Uh, go! Go! Okay, good. Alright, are we going back that way? Yes. That sucks. 
I'm thinking our third power is going to be some kind of bridge power. I think it would have to be, considering the layout of some of these rooms. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. Alright, that wasn't that bad at all. Wait, are you guys talking about Stalker? I somehow missed that you guys were talking about Stalker. I have all, all three Stalker games. I've only played the first one, though, and I've only gotten, like, halfway through it, I think. Okay, yeah, you guys are definitely playing, talking about Stalker. I played it with no mods whatsoever. It's functional, but extremely janky. Possibly too janky for a lot of people. Yeah, that's a good point, not a roguelike. You should definitely play out on higher difficulties, because it does it does the golden eye thing of everyone taking less like fewer hits to kill. Which really, really, really works out in your favor once you once you get a not entirely crappy weapon, which you can do pretty early on. Yes! Cornudo. Okay, that was bad. Mm, jump. Mm, jump. Okay. Whoops. <clears throat> Some jank is good. Like, there's, there's certainly entertaining jank. The stalker jank, though, is sometimes, like, quests don't work. Like, sometimes the game sends you to places it's not supposed to send you. Like, sometimes it really doesn't make sense how to get past a specific area, or some sometimes it's really not signposted at all. <gasps> New power! New power, everybody! You found the yellow gemstone. Now you can shoot magic attacks with your staff. Use to attack enemies and open certain doors. Use a lot of magic, so use it wisely. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I got a little fireball. Holy shit, not a rogue like writing a novel up in here. Your favorite video game moments ever was being stuck on the roof of a house with a group of monsters below and only having like three sniper bullets. So I saw a guy really far away who didn't see me. I sniped near him and led him close enough with those three bullets. So he started shooting at me and drew the attention of the monster so I could escape. That's really cool. That was totally worth it. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, the... Oh. Okay, time out. Time out. We need to talk about something real quick. This... This is a really, really, really cool way to show your player how to do something. They set up a trap using the same ability that I just got that then triggered something that I would have never thought to use that power on. That is a really clever piece of game design right there. Kind of make that. Of course, now I have to go find all those dumb robots on the way out. Who's on the other side of this? Yeah, that that one little bit of game design right there is hugely impressed me. Spelling is coming out and everybody was talking about immersion gameplay. That's the whole appeal of Spelunky, honestly, is like the chaos that can be caused just from screwing up the smallest thing. Oh, a load of developers took that mean they didn't have to design anything. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Hey, my orb level increased. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my phone to see when my wife's coming home. I don't know 
when it's gonna be though. They've been gone for about an hour and a half. So we've probably still got plenty of time. I might be able to beat this on stream. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go up and around then. Are you sneaks? No, no, no. I didn't mention to her that I was gonna stream, but like, I told her I was just gonna sit around and play video games while she was gone, and she's like, okay, that's cool. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so there's, there's two more statues I need to light up. And I guess that'll take us up to the boss. Okay. So I need to... Really curious to see what they're gonna do with Spelunky 2. Me too. Me too. I love Spelunky. I played Spelunky before it was, uh, it was a commercial release. Back when, uh, it was... It was a free game. I beat it then. And it, it took me a while to beat it again for the commercial release. Ah, oh, no. No, get up. No. Okay. We need to bubble this then. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's one. Oh no, that one's busted. I think... I think the whole ones are off this direction? There, there was definitely one in this side of the tower. If I remember correctly. I-I-R-C. Canned rose one. Wait, how the hell am I- Oh! Oh no, I need to go up and around. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump here and go back. Yeah, canned wine is a thing here in the States right now. <clears throat> okay, so I want to go, okay, I want to go up and around. Oh, there's one. Okay, maybe it's not that complicated. Alright, we need one more. Oh, that's actually a relief that I don't have to go back down and uh, light up the busted ones, too. progress through this thing, I think. There's a lot of directions they can take with Splunky 2. Hope they're not designing it strictly for the hardcore community who likes figuring out and carrying an eggplant to the altar on the 8th level. If you can have the candle, light the tomb, which you get only by walking west, and then killing the second boss with a 60% health. I watched that, um, solo eggplant kill that that one dude got. That was amazing. All the special considerations he had to make to get that stupid eggplant all the way through the game. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, go on YouTube after the stream, don't leave, and um, look up Solo Eggplant Kill for Spelunky if you want to see one of the most ridiculous things ever. Yeah, I 100% hope that shit is in there. Because it's a really cool part of the design, just as long as it's not expected. Okay, so now... What do I want to do? Oh, I want to go up and around. That's what I want to do. <clears throat> yeah, no one should ever listen to their hardcore community. I mean, listen to the hardcore community about the hardcore stuff, but don't don't let that influence the core design of your game. You know? Excuse me. 
Payday 2. Uh, I liked Payday 2 a lot when it came out, and then it just got impossible for me to keep up with. I am surprised you made it this far. I will never give you the ornament. We control them and you should follow our commands. Why have you come to our land to destroy us? You can never defeat us. Why is this guy a joke? That's kind of cool looking though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dude! Okay. This one might be a bit harder than the last one. Hey, I've only died 12 times getting this point, though. Uh, okay, up and around. When I get old, I'm gonna call everything a Nintendo Wii just to be annoying. <laughs> boss kill times are getting awful, I know. Oh, I'm never gonna make it on this leaderboards at this rate. How do I want to handle this? Because this one seems significantly trickier than the last one. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a bad idea. Wait, no, no, it's not. Wait, this is definitely not a bad idea. I just need to dodge him when he does... Oh, okay. Okay. Here you go. Oh! Nope, okay. That's gonna be hard. Okay, I think I can do this. I think I know what to do. This guy's cute, he's like a Genesis character. Oh, that sounds good, Cragger. Have a good one, buddy. Thanks for coming out tonight. Today. I'm so used to saying tonight. <laughs> Maybe it's tonight where you live. I don't know. <clears throat> I enjoyed Payday, Payday 2 a lot when I started out. Because I like... Okay. I might be part of the problem. I'm one of those people that likes unlocking things. I'm one of those people that actually likes starting with junk. And then unlocking new stuff and like like, creating my own build for things. And I like that in Payday 2 until it just, it got too awkward and frustrating just to beat, like, basic missions. Okay, I only took one hit there, that's good. Uh, I really want to time that out right. There we go. No! It's interesting he aims for your feet. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Shit. Okay. Bop that nerd. Yep. I got bopped. <laughs> Maybe we can try bopping the bad guy next time. You wiped your melee save file so you could do it all again? The only game I ever did that with was um, SSX Tricky. I got unlocking stuff in that game down to such a science that I unlocked everything in the game, immediately wiped my save and started doing it again. Feels very Mega Man without the difficulty. I can agree with that. It even sounds like it, at least this particular boss fight music. No, 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 no. Ah. Okay, I'm just gonna. We're gonna try this again. This guy is tricksy. Mega Man Gallop. I saw on Twitter, um, somebody's doing... Somebody's organizing some kind of Mega Man charity stream thing? I think people are supposed to stream Mega Man games on specific 
days and I think it's going to be in May. I don't remember the details, but we might end up doing that. Since I have a couple Mega Man games. Great. Hit him! Stupid fireball is so slow. Damn it! I really want this to work. Oh, oh, oh. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Actually, don't get up. That would have messed me up. Don't do that. Okay, we want to avoid that. If at all possible, and then... Oh, no! No! Okay. At least he's on a set pattern. Yes! How's that for timing? Okay. Okay, I can do this. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this! Hit him! No! Oh my god, no! 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 I don't, I don't know if I can seal the deal on this. Nope! Yes! <sighs> that was a close one. Alright, nerd bopped. The bopping has been done. Whew. Play X4? I've played X4. I hate X4. <laughs> I did not like the trajectory of the X games. Mega Man, Mega Man X was fantastic. Mega Man X2 is okay, but very forgettable. Personally, I like 3, but I can see where it's kind of starting to go off the rails there. I did not like the PlayStation ones. I was not a fan. <laughs> he shook. <laughs> yeah, I, I have beaten Mega Man X4, and I never want to do it again. I'm an idiot. I'm a moron! I don't have to do that again, do I? No, I don't. Okay. Alright, let's go up and around again. X4 was your first Mega Okay, okay. I can understand liking it then. If it's your first Mega Man game, then that sets expectations, and then yeah. That's fine. You're, you're forgiven, Hieronymus. <laughs> um. Beating all the classic Mega Mans, I never want to do again. I have two and three. I will, like, I, I adore them. I absolutely love them. I will do two and three until the cows come home. I can also do two and three in any order. Like, I don't I don't have to go by the pr prescribed order. Or I don't ho have to go by the prescribed order. If we ever stream Mega Man 2 or 3, I'll let you guys pick what order I do them in. I got no problem with that. Um, I don't know if I can do that with the X games. I don't think I've ever tried. Mega Man 1 is so bad, it's amazing it got a sequel. It's not, it's not that bad. I, I came to it going backwards from, um, 2 and 3, and I thought it was okay. This, I, I could, I could do with less of this. Like, here's a way you can go, oh no wait, it's a shortcut, it gets unlocked later. The best Mega Man game is Shovel Knight, because it's also DuckTales. <laughs> yes, I do know how many times they do the appearing and disappearing platforms. I'm also the guy that can do the appearing and disappearing platforms in Heat Man stage without using item 2. So, I might be a little biased. Ow. They don't they don't bother me that much. <laughs> At least we can all agree on that. That the best one is in fact Shovel Knight. Cause Shovel Knight is so so good. Why why you gotta be like that? Little fireball face guy. 
I'm gonna do, so I've beaten Shovel Knight before. I have not touched it since they went back and added in all the extra stuff, like the, the Plague Knight mode and the, okay, it's, it's not, they haven't added King Knight yet, the other one, I forget who. When they finally complete the treasure trove, I might stream it, stream all the parts I've never done, and then uh, review it at long last. Is this where I want to be going? Yeah, I think I want to get out of here. The, yeah, music in Mega Man in Mega Man 2 is fantastic. <laughs> hey, Bison MD. Did I just stand on that fireball? I might take a hit here just to see. I s no, okay. Okay, I took two hits here because I'm an idiot. You can't run Mega Man X Legacy Collection with a concert for- Really? That sucks. They're really that broken? That is garbage. That's a shame, because I was thinking about getting those eventually. Because I don't, you know, I only have two and three. I would I would love to have the other ones to play. I've beaten four and five. Four was okay. I actually never want to play five again, ever, because... Mm. Mm. <laughs> five is rough. I don't know if you guys have ever played Mega Man 5, but oh my god, it will beat you up. I didn't play Slime Sun. I, I contacted the developers about playing Slime Sun because a bunch of you guys have told me it's really, really good. And they didn't get back to me. I'll, I'll get to it sometime. You guys have made a big enough deal about it that I don't think I can really ignore it. Get 20XX. Yeah, that was supposed to be really good too. And isn't 20XX supposed to be, supposed to have roguelike elements too? I'll play just about anything that has roguelike elements. We can be honest for a second here. All right, let's go back over this screen and go down. Because I don't know what those buttons I pushed did. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, that could have been really bad. Slime San Sun is a better Meat Boy sequel than The End Is Nigh. Oh, and you know how much I like The End Is Nigh. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys are aware, I actually regard The End The End Is Nigh a little bit higher than Super Meat Boy. Honestly, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh... Well, I've got the life to do that part, so let's try that. Oh, the, the Meat Boy sequel is going to be Epic Store exclusive? Sigh. <laughs> I'm going to get to those games eventually, but them being exclusives just kind of, like, kills a lot of my interest in it. End is not as fine until the end game stuff. I actually, like, I know. I know a lot of people don't like it. I like what they did with the end of the end is nigh. But it's because it, it appeals to me in a very personal way because I love collecting secrets like that. So I was in a really good position by that end game reveal. And I'm also, I don't, I'm not so bothered by managing limited resources like that. Go, there we go. Okay, I wasn't that bad. This though. Can I make that, yes, okay. All right, not that bad at all.
Hades has a one year exclusivity like everything else would be on Steam before it leaves early access. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want to play Hades. You game over it on the third from last screen? Oh, okay. Alright, I don't blame you at all for not liking it then. That is completely legit. That would drive me insane, I think. What is... What is the point of this room? Because this guy don't work. Oh, I can go up from here somehow. Hades is aim aiming for 2020? Okay. Why? Oh no, this was just to get up here earlier. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Hieronymus, the... So, the Dark World analog in The End is Nigh, uh, it uses your... It uses the tumors you find, the little secret things you find, as lives. And if you run out of them, you have to start over. Cornudo's got it. All right, I can't use the bubble here. I could drop from above, but I kind of don't care enough to do that. No, you say it's terrible game design. I kind of like it. I like the the additional challenge and pressure of it. All right, Dev. Well, I'm glad you're able to make it out. Have a good one, and I will see you probably tomorrow night for Yakuza. Oh my God, I'm. So I guess I'm streaming, is this going to be six days in a row? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. I stream six days in a row. <laughs> Just for you guys. I love you guys that much. Um. We'll go to the right and go back to town, I think. Bastion was fun. That's the only one of their games that I finished. I finished Bastion. Um, I started Transistor and got a little ways into it and just kind of lost interest. And I, I never played Pyre. One of your brother's tutors worked on Transistor? Oh, neat. Now you have a green... Yeah, I know. A bit behind the times, but Hades is the closest thing they made to Bastion. <clears throat> By the way, before we get too far away from uh, Mega Man chat, I just want to mention the actual, actual best Mega Man game is Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy, which I have, and I'll play for you guys sometime to prove to you that it is in fact the best Mega Man game. The eye of the beholder will reveal many secrets not visible to the naked eye. What the hell does that mean? Do not stare too long at the light. Without being mentioned. Well, this stream does look really weird with natural light behind me, doesn't it? <laughs> if you guys aren't too weirded out by this. I've never played Mega Man Legends. So I can't say one way or another. Hello, in this well next to me, you can refill your water, but first you can find some. Oh! Oh, I have water now. Cool. Okay, I can get this. Mega Man Legends wanted the pedophile voice actor. Oh man, come on! Could people just kind of stop being pedophiles for a while? Do, do you think that would really be that hard? I wish I could make multiple blocks and make like a little bridge across here, but I don't think this is gonna work. Nope. <sighs> <laughs> Not what we meant! 
Wait, hang on, I'm gonna do a smart thing. Mm. Whoa, hey. I forget you're doing that. Seems to be like gout was back in the day, a rich person disease disorder. I wonder how much of this stuff is just rich people seeing what they can get away with. Like the thrill of, of breaking the law without having to suffer any kind of repercussions. Cause it's like this um this orchid day spa thing in Florida right now, where like a ton of rich dudes have gotten busted for this like like sex in the sex trafficking ring. And it's like why why did these rich people need to go to a strip mall prostitution front that's also part of a sex trafficking ring. Central Allwood does have a really catchy, catchy track. Cornudo, what did you clip? You got me nervous now. When we're done with when we're done with this game, I'm gonna click on that. I don't wanna click off of it right now. I can't get across here. I guess maybe I could go back down to the under underground passage again. Oh jeez, that my mother just told me that some guy in her hometown's mother was busted for it. His her hometown's in Vermont. What the hell? Yeah, it makes no sense. Try going and blocking there. I'll I'll give it a try. I don't think the magic blocks actually work in water. I think you have to chuck the Permanent ones in? But we'll see. Yeah, I need a permanent one. Or some other power. I was I was doing a little bit of experimenting uh, with blocks and water before we start up the stream today. if I can make that or not. <laughs> I know, rats. <clears throat> also, I'd just like to reiterate, there are 99 orbs in this game, and I only have 27 of them, and it's not like I haven't been looking for them. Hang on, I just realized something. I just realized something I, I didn't look into earlier. Oh, I guess there, I guess there's an orb here, and I got it earlier. Let's talk about massage probably is gonna color tomorrow's Yakuza stream. I mean, that's what you guys show up for, isn't it? <laughs> the weird softcore porn video stores. <laughs> that wasn't awkward at all. Right okay, this way. Okay, I can go this way. I'll go this way. what happened oh you did oh Cornuto you didn't actually know about this thing yeah a whole bunch of rich dudes and athletes and sports owners and stuff got busted in uh, in Florida for frequenting a strip mall massage parlor slash sex trafficking ring oh Sicilian oh, depths we've never been here before Okay, let's check this out. Yeah, it's, I mean, honestly, it's really just another example of why, why we should be eating the rich. Although now it's pretty clear we should be disinfecting them first. 
Hey, dude. Oh, Jesus. That's a bad guy. He's so cute. I didn't, I didn't expect that at all. I feel betrayed now. Peter Thiel and teenagers. Oh, that's fine. I get that. I probably don't even need to be putting down those green blocks, but I kind of do it out of habit. Haha! -ha! Secret! I'm so smart. <laughs> Goddamn genius. Okay. Yes! Oh, was it just for that? Oh, I'm disappointed now. I thought it'd be better than that. Never trust a cat monk. Words to live by. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, these rich dudes could totally go anywhere. They could get, like, really discreet escorts or whatever, but no, they had to frequent the child, like, the amount of his child sex trafficking ring. Probably. Also, I can't remember if it was exactly the same one, but I'm pretty sure there was a Donald Trump tweet from, like, five or six years ago talking about how great that particular day spa was, so... There you go. Alright, I'm not getting up there from this side. They're so cute when they're about to attack. There's a treasure across the gap to the left. You should find a way around so you can see what it is. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. What, what is the purpose of these rooms? Like, I don't know what... I don't know what the point of this room is. There's always a tweet. Ain't that the truth? Also, hi, GRK. Or would that be Gurk? <laughs> Either way, welcome to the stream. It's good to see ya. Well, I... Beef. Where am I? What just happened? Oh, I used my water. Okay. Clonk. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Alright, well, this guy's helping to show me where to go. So let's see who's off to the right first. Hmm, okay. Neat moon back there. That's cool. If a meteor destroyed Wyoming tomorrow, someone did a tweet where Trump praised that specific meteor. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing? Losers get crushed by meteors. Why don't they just get out of the way? It's a big rock. You can step aside. Sad. Oh yeah, that the Russian dash cam footage of that meteor exploding. That was so cool. It looked like something out of a science fiction movie. Because it basically was. That's why I bothered to do that. Because now I can get that key. Okay. That's weird. I feel like I've been here before. But obviously I haven't. Oh, you had to bring up Feinstein. And those poor kids. I hate Feinstein. I live in California. I am one of Feinstein's constituents. I wanted her go uh, gone so bad. 
And I voted for that guy that, um, that went up against her and just nobody else did. I mean, to be fair, he hardly campaigned, which definitely didn't help him against such a Senate standby as Feinstein, but still. Still, I just, I want her gone. She's trash. Oh shit, how's he hitting me? That is not dead, which can turn a lie. I knew there was going to be an oddish rant incoming. I mean... My two senators are Feinstein and Harris. Feinstein is just a fossil. Like, she is a relic from another time. She's a garbage centrist that needs to be gone. Like, the world has moved, up, has moved past the need for... spineless Democrats like her. And then Harris, I want to like Harris, but I've read so much about her time as a prosecutor and all the really shitty, crappy stuff she did, and it's really disappointing. But then, all of a sudden, you get something like her coming out in favor of reparations as part of her, um, her presidential campaign, it's like, I mean, that's something that has never been touched on a national level in politics here. That's huge. Like, that's like a huge deal if she actually, like, carries through with that. Like, so, yeah, I don't really know how to feel about her right now. Never vote for, I know Harris is a cop, I know. She does, she does have, last time I checked, she had the most liberal voting record in the Senate. I don't know if that's changed since the last time I checked it. She is at least voting the right way now, but yeah. All, like, there are just a bunch of really crappy stories from her, of her when she, from when she was a prosecutor. Yeah, that's the thing. That's, because I mean, basically the, the presidential election in 2016 here was a referendum on racism. And, oh, hang on, one second. I'll be right back, guys. That was my wife. <laughs> she is on her way home, and I need to help her get some stuff ready for dinner before she gets here. So, unfortunately, it looks like this is gonna be the end of the stream. <laughs> I hate to cut it now when we're when, when, when we're in the middle of so much fun, but what can you do? And it wasn't going to be a stream today anyway, so this is a nice little bonus. Um, all right, so let me catch up with chat real quick. Arsh expresses doubt about Harris immediately gets a knock on the door. <laughs> FBI, open up. Explain your lack of support for the establishment candidate. All right, guys. Well, I hate to do this, but we're going to have to cut it short. Um, not that it was supposed to exist anyway. So if you want to continue this conversation, by all means, jump into Discord. Um, I'll pop it open on my phone and we can keep it going there. But yeah, thank you all so much for coming out. Join me for this random ass stream. Uh, we'll be doing Yakuza Zero tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Pacific, as usual. Um, if any of you are not currently followers, I would appreciate a follow. Really want to get to 250 followers uh, sometime in March, because I have a plan for our next marathon stream, and I would like to make it official. So it's 1 a.m. You've been up since six. Yeah, you should go to bed, dude. <laughs> Keep gaming though. <laughs> You're welcome, Cornudo. We'll, we'll say that was just for you, so. All right, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully, I will see you tomorrow night. Until then, as always, y'all take care. Bye now.